Why, why, why is there so much resistance to yeah, visiting? Yeah. yeah, I feel it's the emotional thing, I feel. Before coming, usually people start to prepare about tissue. But once you get used to this area, I feel that like it's quite normal. I'm Ramzul. I founded the app Kubo Search to help find graves. My parents are Kubo builders, so I used to assist them with the Kubo building. Usually after I created the nameplates and tombstones, I had to deliver them. That's when I had the problem because it's a bit hard to search for the Kubo. La. So my brother and I, we thought we should just create an app where all the coordinates of the Kubo we have and then we can just navigate to them easier. But then the idea just got forgotten until last year and that's when I started it. So it took me about one and a half years to complete. Basically, the two information you need is just the plot number and the block number. And we do not have any names attached to the block number for privacy reasons. La. And if you do not have this info, you have to go to any ace office and ask them for that info with at least the death date and the name of the deceased. I had a small prototype phase which I tested with my family and friends first. And then I also asked it to like a few other Kubo builders to try it out. And that's when I, I thought, yeah, it works and we should just open it up to the public. If someone contributed $10 and then left me a message saying uh, she had her father pass away about one year ago and she hesitated to come over to visit because she don't like the idea of not knowing um, the uncertainty of where the, the, the place is and then wasting time. So she said that uh, this helps her ease off that, that worry. Uh, it motivates me further. So I, I know I'm doing something right, I hope. And yeah, I hope it helps more people. If everything's done here, I will expand it further to other graves in Singapore. I, I just say in Malay, lah, orang kubo ni, um, orang miskin, kesian dengan orang. So, so much that people who visit will just um, sometimes just give you 50 bucks, 20 bucks, sedekah. But I feel like my family, we just don't care. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we are doing good, we are happy. And yeah, I don't think we'll ever stop doing this. For yourself, you don't feel any kind of matters? Initially, yes. Uh, uh, initially, yes, to my friends. Like, if my parents share posts on their Facebook page, because, uh, and then I, I, I will be sharing. So initially, when they start asking, like, hey, what, what are you doing? What about Kubo? I don't reply. But now I, I'm proud to tell them, yeah, I'm a Kubo builder. My mom used to have this uh, notebook with all the orders of the day. And she looks happy. My parents both look happy looking at those and then uh, messages like encouraging words telling them oh thanks for the uh, amazing work done to the Kubo I feel like because of that it, it makes them much happier now yeah, it, it is peaceful here yeah. yeah. it is peaceful here so I, I do even if I don't have jobs I just come here to accompany my parents just just look around it, it's like a peaceful garden if you ignore the fact that there are um, deceased people everywhere they say um, try not to work past um, seven after Maghrib but yeah, my parents prefer to work after Maghrib anyway. They say it's, it's more peaceful, there's no visitors around, and then it's cooler. Yeah, they work all the way until midnight at, at times. The only thing we worry about here at night is the mosquitoes. It's just bigger and crazier.